Today, let's begin with making you know H Gallery. It is a space and support that given to Thai and Asian contemporary art. This H Gallery has been made for 10 years, and we had a chance to talk with artists who are presenting their work at H Gallery. How is it going to be? Let's see. H Gallery is one of Asia's leading venues for regional and international art. Established in 2002, the gallery began with a focus on emerging Asian artists and has since established a program of exhibitions and installations that aims to generate critical dialogues on contemporary art practice for global contexts. Well, gallery, the exhibitions are curated here by Brian Curtin, and he, um, he likes to do dialogues between artists. Um, so he'll often mix a uh, Thai artist with an international or regional artist, maybe from China, Japan, or Burma, or Malaysia, or Indonesia as well, or European or American, mix them all in together, and they have a dialogue um, that they're trying to say conceptually. This is not a group show. This is from Manit, but Manit has a very high level, and we're very thrilled to have him here. I've wanted him to show here for many years. This is the first time in 10 years that he's shown with me, so very exciting. Throughout the time that Esh Gary was established, there were a lot of work showcased from different artists, both local and international, including some new Huang Tanak Pans, abstract painting of jack line and geometric blocks of color explore the Buddhist notion of impermanence and the cyclical nature of life relative to time. Another artist is Jaruwat Bunwat Lam. His work use of space has further developed via his interest in photography and visual language, revolving around the failure of human occultation, perspective, and glass optics. Oh, well, I like the art in Thailand very much. I liked it when I came here. I've been here almost 14 years, but I've been in this space for 10 years. And I did show in alternative spaces before that. And I like the art scene here very much especially the younger crowd. And uh, 10 years ago, or 12 years ago, in November of uh, 99, I started my first shows and worked with younger ones. Now I work with much more established artists like Manit now. So it started with the younger group, and now it's uh, some younger ones and emerging, but also the more established Thai artists as well, which I enjoy very, very much. The latest exhibition showcasing at Edge Gallery is called Obscene, which is the latest work from Manit C. Wanichapum. Obscene is a showcase of two new series of photographs, Holy Machismo and Obscene. Holy Machismo consists of semi-abstract black and white photographs of traditional Thai Lingchans, fertility symbol widely used as sacred offering with the aim of sponsoring prosperity. It's my latest uh, work, uh, which is, is uh, comprised two series. Uh, one is in black and white, so I call the uh, Holy Machismo. I produced uh, last year, 2011, when I was uh, turned 50. You know, when you turn 50, sometimes you have um, something about your, in yourself as a man, uh, feeling that you do not feel that you are man, manly enough or something about your hormone, your that has happened to me that I, you know, I feel insecure about my design, my passion. You know, it's, it's the, um, you know, testosterone. That's um, it's a hormone that about a man. So that is one of my series. It's in black and white, and, and I use the um, the the lingam as a, or the phallus we call palatkit uh, in the Thai so I believe. Uh, blood kick is like uh, it's represent about uh, fertility, protection, you know, and I think it's it's very interesting. Uh, I use it as uh, to represent my uh, my my feeling, you know. Obscene are baroque nudes. These Caravaggio's gay, short and saturated color photograph confront the Ghanish vulgarity of present-day Thai politics, administrations, drunken power, trumpet ideals of democracy, while painting themselves as self-sacrificing heroes, defenders of freedom and harbingers of justice to our benighted country. It's about uh, inspired by the uh, 
uh, Thai, Thailand political situation. So this is something that I want to play with. And then that is why and in this series I call Obscene, a way how you use the, the gender you know, to benefit your, your interest. You know. And then I use a fem female a model. And, and probably this is my uh, first uh, nude um, uh, work. You know. And uh, I, I luck, I'm, it's luckily that I got a French. She uh, willing to be my model. And we worked together. You know, during uh, three months, we worked together to produce this uh, very colorful uh, series. Both series are essentially linked by the artist's interest in masculine wise of greed and lust. So I, I want to make the relationship between the two. I mean, the red as uh, represent the, uh, the red church uh, group. I mean, um, and also, in the color itself, it's, um, it's represent a lot like passion, you know, the, um, about the um, violin. You know. So it's, it's a lot of meaning. So that's why it's, I think it fits well with, with the series. Uh, so I, I play with that a lot. Manit C. Vanitapoom has created a lot of artwork, including photography, writing, or conceptual art, as well as social activists. His most famous work is a photography called Pink Man, with a shabby guy in pink suit in supermarket taken in many places around the world. The Pink Man collection is indirectly talking about politics and Thai society. It includes both current pictures and those pictures which are retouched from violent situation in October the 6th, 1976. I had been, my work, let's say my work in, um, I, um, it's always about politics, you know, it's about social problem, it's about, you know, uh, equality, democracy, it's about that. So that, that, is, that is my work, that is the nature of my work. And this is also the series, also about that, you know. My, my, uh, my famous the series like Pink Man, Pink Man it also made a comment on the um, uh, consumerism, you know, which is, uh, uh, is now what you, what you see happening in, in Thailand that uh, consumerism is uh, dominate the people mind you know and economy you know. so it's very dangerous because of as you know that uh, the, we have a global crisis everywhere because of the economic crisis happened because of the over consumption and also part of that is the capitalism Working in art area can tell different people's character. It is dependent on how they can provide best communication with the audiences. Main point of art is to create impression and fullness and give both knowledge and happiness without borders. Photography is one of the uh, kind of uh, medium that you, if you interest, it is important that you can, uh, can use as your own expression. You can express your, your, your thought, you can express what uh, your concern about the society. Because of, I think this, is, this is, can be your voice, the, the voice that you, you, you want other people to, to see, to know. I mean, what you think, what's going on uh, is in your life. I think this is, uh, for me, it's uh, one of the uh, strong, strong medium that uh, can uh, uh, accessory, I mean, accessible and easily to uh, to ex I mean to 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 reach the audience. I'd just like to encourage them to come to exhibitions. There's a very good map out called BAM, which means Bangkok Art Map, and that's available all over the place. And they should pick that up and go around to exhibitions. A lot of Thai people, a lot of Thai kids, well, they want to come here, but they're a little bit shy. They're not sure what's going on here. They're not sure if they have to pay or what, if it's, they're allowed to come here. And they're very much allowed to go to any of the exhibitions. So we, when we put on exhibitions, we want people to come. 
Our works are for sale, for sure, but we don't care about that so much. We find it rewarding when people come, so we'd like more Thai and younger Thai people to come in and feel comfortable in here, come to the opening parties, enjoy it, enjoy the artwork, meet artists, uh, come to the exhibitions on their own on the weekend whenever, enjoy it, just experience it. That would be a good thing, we'd really like that. So I think that would be a positive thing for the Thai art scene and for young Thais in general. And in general, they are a little bit interested, but they're a little bit shy, so come on. And for the next break, we would like to present you to a performance called Fall by the Crescent Moon Theater. It is a performance of body expression and movement. Stay tuned. <laughs> 